Not so. Mm. Yeah, my name is King Brian. Uh, I'm an Afrobeat art. Uh, I mix it with a lot of genre. Uh, I do reggae, I do Afro trap, and um, I also do high life. Uh, my music um, generally is inspired by what I see around me. Um, love, hatred, happiness, and everything that surrounds life. So I talk about everything. Uh, yeah, um, the, it was okay. Um, there was a mat and up. The EP it was an embodiment. It's an embodiment of work, and um, it has a lot of genre. All the genres I discussed, I was able to fumble with um, reggae, uh, Afro trap, uh, Afro beat, swing, and a lot of uh, things. And um, also, um, I was also able to get a collaboration with an American DJ, Young Trip, who is um, also uh, working with um, um, Empire Music Worldwide. And I'm glad the EP was a success. Um, the major reasons why we hosted the uh, extended play listening party is um, to introduce the music to the general public, and um, um, that, that, that was a success because we had turn up. Uh, we had um, OAPs, we had um, DJs, we had uh, social media influencers from um, different uh, um, radio and TV um, stations pulling through, and um, that's massive. That's very massive. Okay, um, yeah, um, uh, production-wise, I worked uh, with Young Trip, uh, who is based in um, Los Angeles, California. I also worked with one of the biggest um, producers here in Nigeria. Um, that happens to be Wise Don, and he's been involved with a lot of big acts um, recently. And I also worked with Faye Flex, one of the best producers here in Southeast, and not um, forgetting uh, Kizzy Clef. Uh, Kizzy Clef was also there and Liquid Mix. So um, uh, I'm glad I was able to work with them. And um, most of my songs were mixed and mastered by um, Enzi on the mix and um, Planet Mix. So um, I, I kept a small circle, but they were all professional. Okay, it's an EP actually, and um, it has um, uh, seven tracks on my extended uh, playlist. Uh, well, um, I feel happy, I feel good. Um, everybody will be glad um, to be improving in his um, uh, chosen profession and um, looking forward to working on, on an album um, in time to come, not too long. Um, I go with um, Tubaba. Yeah, because um, Tubaba um, is an embodiment of everything. He is one act that can do all genres of music and he has uh, proven it. He has worked with um, reggae, high life, Afrobeat, hip hop, Afro trap, and he's, he's really good. So, uh, me being that kind of person that can uh, uh, fondle with a lot of uh, genres, would always want to have a role model who is already replicating uh, the same feat. So, I, I go uh, for Tubaba. I, I listen to his work and they are very creative, they are very mature, he always passes a message and um, that is actually uh, what I love doing, you know, because when you're uh, doing a song that doesn't have a storyline, that doesn't have a message, uh, I don't think you're a musician because a musician you, you have to communicate, you know, you have to pass a message. So you, you, when you don't do that, you just, uh, you're just making noise and noise is different from music. I really love Tubaba's work, so I would really hope and wish and know that I will get to work with uh, Tubaba anytime soon. And I also like uh, Bonner Boy. I like the way he he he, he flares with uh, with music. Like he he is is an embodiment of talent. You know, Bonner Boy uh, um, is able to. Uh, 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 own different characters, like um, let me explain myself more. B Bonner Boy, Bonner Boy sings, he rap, he patois, he solos. He he's just the kind of person you can bring into any type of song, and he delivers. So uh, I would like to work with Bonner Boy, and um, for the street cred, I would also like to work with um, Naramali because Naramali has this um, street 
playing him. He, he, he carries the street along and um, he, he, he possesses this uh, power of uh, speaking his mind um, regardless of what people are going to say about it. So uh, these three people, if I walk with them, I will feel um, fulfilled. Yeah, uh, Bonobo is doing very well for himself and um, for Nigerian music and um, he, he got nominated and it's a very uh, a good, a big plus to uh, Nigerian music uh, as a whole and um, yeah, we are feeling bad he couldn't uh, bring it home here to Nigeria yeah, and um, hopefully someday I get to be uh, nominated and uh, bring home the Grammy. Um, basically, after this EP, um, we'll be running a lot of uh, promotion um, on the album and the, the, the songs in it. And um, we also have um, um, various uh, programs lined up, a concert and uh, a lot of things. So definitely we are going to be busy for the year. And also we have an, uh, uh, a collaboration EP coming up with um, American uh, DJ Young Trip and um, to be uh, ready and out anytime soon. Yeah. Uh, outside music, actually, um, I really, really look up to Ayomakun Ay. Uh, um, he's not just a comedian, you know. He 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 has this ability to host events and actually hosting one of the biggest comedy events in Nigeria and Africa at large. And um, also, he's also into movie directing and his movie. Uh, uh, has uh, come out to be one of the highest sold movies um, here in Nigeria and Africa too uh, as a whole. So I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, a big fan of him and um, that's basically because he has um, an atom of uh, King Brian in him, being versatile, doing a lot of things um, at the same time and that's what defines me actually. In the next five years, um, King Brian is going to be an international act. Uh, King Brian must have brought home the Grammy, and King Brian would have been celebrated um, uh, worldwide. Um, outside music, um, actually, I, uh, I love um, styling uh, people's hair. So I style hair. I also write, um, like uh, most of my songs were written by me. In fact, all of my songs were actually written by me. And so um, that's actually what I, I love. Yeah, I would um, like to thank uh, in particular MC Chris Tucker. That's uh, my Chibuzo Chris, my manager. You know, he was there. Uh, uh, for me uh, during the event. He also managed the event. I also want to thank uh, the in-house DJ of uh, Punch and Candy for giving us steady sound and also most importantly thank uh, the management of Posh and Candy for the way they hosted us and you know my mom, I can't forget my mom because she's always been my backbone, they want to pour and I really love her and I love the way she supports me and uh, I want to take this uh, opportunity to say a big thank you to the uh, uh, OAPs, the social media influencers that came, uh, MC Duke, Isho, Amara Dazol, DJ Sako, Wise Dawn on the beat, and uh, Obina, a whole lot of them. I'm very, very um, grateful for having them on. I can't actually remember each and every one of them now, and most especially East Street on TV. Uh, you know, they, they were very uh, good media partners, and they had the event all covered up. So um, I, I am very grateful. Thanks to everyone that made the EP listening party a huge success.